What's up guys? Welcome back to Barrier Garage and today we are going to be installing on the Acura this Neo Chrome headlight film. So it should be pretty fun. I've, I've never done this before so we're screwed. Alright guys, we're outside now and we're going to start the install but before we start we're going to need a few things to actually do it. Step one, as always, to clean the headlights so I have some warm water and soap and need to film, of course. You want a squeegee, a knife, and most importantly, you want a, a heat gun. Now, you don't need, well, actually, yeah, you do need a heat gun because this film is fairly thick and I don't think a hair dryer is gonna do too well. So, let's go ahead and start this and see if we can do it. I have no idea what I'm doing, so this can either go extremely well or extremely shit. As you can see, the headlights are fairly flat. There's no crazy shapes or anything like that, so I think this should go fairly simple. But again, I'm bound to screw something up. Um, I haven't washed this car in about a month, so it's pretty filthy. It's been raining like crazy here, so today's like the one of the first sunny days we got in a while. So I'm gonna clay bar the headlights because I know they're extremely dirty. So go ahead and just spray some warm water and soap on. And we're gonna start cleaning this. Now that the headlight's clean, we're just gonna wipe it away. You should use a microfiber, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna use this. Now we're gonna clean this side and then we're gonna start. The headlights are clean now, so we're gonna start wrapping them. I'm actually gonna cut this in half, so I'm just gonna line it up here real quick and see how much I need for headlights. So I just peeled back the sticky side and from the videos I have been watching, I'm supposed to spray warm water on this, so I'm just gonna follow that video. And he also said to spray water on this side. So, I'm gonna spray water on this side. Okay, we're gonna stick that on. That. And my squeegee is too far. Okay. Uh, you said just to keep sliding the water out. So I'm guessing this is where the heat plays. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the heat gun real quick. Almost broke it. And go ahead and turn this on. Okay, so the heat gun's on, it's working. Um, now I'm just gonna start applying some heat to this and squeegeeing more and more and see how it goes. Okay, so I already screwed up there. I'm already pissed off. I, like, I don't even want to do this anymore. But let's see how it turns out. I'm gonna keep going. I'm kind of upset because of the way it came out, but I'm not too upset because it is my first time doing a wrap or a film. And yeah, it does have like creases and crap there, but I, I don't know, I think I burned through the film by accident. It just gets worse as it goes down the whole thing. But it's not too bad. I might buy some more and redo it. But as of now, it'll, it'll work. So, um, this is a 
multi-layer wrap. So once I peel this top one off, it'll should look a lot cleaner. But I just want to make sure everything is still in tip-top shape. It's time to peel it and see how bad it is. Okay. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> oh my God. The only decent looking part I have to say is the front. This, it's just so bad here. I don't, I don't know how to fix this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with it a little bit more and see if I can get some of those creases out. But if not, I'm gonna get started on the other headlight there. This is, this is it, I, I don't know. This is the best I can do. So I'm, Kind of upset, like I said, but uh, for this, I might have to just kind of cut it a little so I can fit it. But let's go ahead and cut this up and see what I can do. Oh crap! Ah, uh, I didn't cut it properly, and damn it! I'm not gonna fix that crap. You have no idea, I'm just like ready to rip this whole thing off and buy some more film or go pay someone to do it. I should have taken off the headlight, man. So much better. So I'm trying to just do is heat it up so I can see if I can tuck it underneath the, the bumper right here a little bit. Okay, so I, I just cut it from here and what I'm gonna try right now is just put more heat around here and see if I can fold it in. But it's already screwing up. I'm so upset. Finally finished one headlight and okay, so over here through the camera it looks very good and like Look, look at this, it looks perfect. But then, and we're getting closer and closer. You can see all of those wrinkles and creases. And to be honest, I have no idea why this has like weird streaks coming down it and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it, it looks good on camera, but as you come closer and closer to it, it looking like a shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the right side headlight and I'll be back after this is completely done. Oh my God, look how much better they came out. I'm so happy right now. But the shitty part was there wasn't enough film to actually cover the whole headlight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some cut up wrap from the other side and just go ahead and stick it on there and try to blend it in as best as possible. All right, so I finally, finally finished. This is the first one I did. Pretty shat. And this is the other one I did. This one actually came out a lot better. But then I ran out of film here. So I had to use the older film. Other than that, I don't think it came out too bad. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn the headlights on real quick because I want to see what they look like with the lights on. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Now, I hope the color doesn't change too much. 